Okay, now we're going to talk about planes and how a, a plane equation defines a plane, okay? Um, so I, I, I've drawn some things in here, and I've drawn, here's, here's a plane, I mean, it goes on forever in all directions except up and down, okay? Um, but uh, take my word for it, this vector and this vector, V and W, are on the plane, okay? Um, you could say they're coplanar. Uh, likewise, point... Uh, 413 is also on the plane and it also happens to be on this uh, on this vector and this P sub X I don't know what it is but it we, we just have to uh, say that it, assume that there's another point on the line and that that's a realistic assumption if you think about it okay um, second piece of information you need is you need a vector that's normal to the plane and by normal I mean perpendicular Okay, normal and per perpendicular are synonymous. Okay, so they'd have to give you that. Um, if they did not give you that piece of information, they would have to give you um, all the, com the both components of both of these vectors. Okay, um, in that event, you would cross V and W. That way, you could get um, N, okay, and that would be probably actually the easiest way to do it because you'd have all your points, okay. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna go and basically, okay, basically the equation of a plane is gonna be like so. Basically, if we take this vector N and we dot it with vector P P X, okay, you know, we're just basically taking you know this vector right here. Okay, as long as we, if we dot it with that vector, um, it should be zero, right? Because, you know, we've already defined, based on the drawing and this information, that they're perpendicular to each other, okay? Uh, but keep in mind, I don't know what this point is. So, we're going to use the dot product, we're going to write it out algebraically, and we're going to leave our x, y, z in here, and we'll just let x, y, and z be all the points that satisfy um the equation okay so we'll end up with the equation and basically all the points around here are going to ensure that that these two lines are perpendicular or the vectors are perpendicular i'll show you how we do that okay okay first thing we'll do we we'll want the dot product of n times p p sub x okay that's equal to zero okay the next piece of information um, i need p P sub x. I need that vector, and that's going to be x minus 4, looks like y minus 1, and z minus 3. Okay, so I got that. Okay, and I'm going to cross it with vector n. So I'm just going to go ahead and write n out here. And I made this problem up, so I really hope it works. If not, I'm going to be pissed. I have like recorded. A lot of videos over and over tonight. <laughs> okay, and I'm writing off the page too. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this uh, has to be zero, and all these x, y, z values are going to ensure that happens. Okay, so if you ran into a, if you if you if you took a point, some point x, y, z, plugged it into this equation, and you did not get zero, well, that would not um, indicate uh, perpendicular. Uh, vector. So let's see. Let's just do the dot product. That's just one times the first component, two times the second component, and so on. So we end up with x minus four. Okay. Plus looks like two y minus one. Plus it looks like two z minus three. That's equal to zero. Oh late it's getting late okay so let's see here so i got x minus 4 plus 2 y minus 2 plus 2 z minus 6 equals 0. okay i'm just i'm just taking this down algebraically you know all right so there we are i'm gonna take it down a little more so let's see here i'm gonna group all that i'm gonna go x plus 2 y plus 2z, and then we got minus 4, minus 2, minus 6 equals 0. Okay, so 
we're, we're starting, you know, it just looks like just like a linear equation, kind of. Okay, so let's see here. Um, this is going to end up, I'm going to go back up top here. Okay, for that's, that's going to be negative 12 equals 0. Okay, so here you go. Here is your equation of a plane. Okay, um, you see how we did that? I'm going to go back and write this up towards the top plane. So that was x plus 2y plus 2z minus 12 equals 0. Okay, so I think we're good there. All right, let me zoom back out here. Okay, so basically we, we dotted the these two vectors Okay, and we use kind of like an arbitrary kind of generic point right here to define this uh, line that's parallel to vector w. Okay, and we basically said, hey, you know, if we if we take the the uh, dot product of both of these, um, they should equal zero. Okay, and furthermore, I want to I'm gonna that will include all points. Okay, all all points on the plane. That are that ensure that this happens, okay? So you know, like say say x y was over here, okay? Well, this vector, keep in mind this vector that's straight up and down the normal one. We can move it around anywhere we want on the plane, okay? Yeah, as long as it has the same magnitude and, and direction, it's still it's still got it's it's still got you know magnitude what nine. Square root of nine, three. It's got so it's got a magnitude of three. Its magnitude's always going to be three, no matter what we do to it. It's always going to be pointing straight up. Okay, so we can shift this vector around anywhere we want onto the plane. Okay, and we cross it with a known point and a generic point. Then you know um, our our equation will hold up. Okay, so. Uh, I hope that kind of gets, you know, I hope that kind of explains it to you. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm like really tired, <laughs> so I might be kind of dragging. So um, I just don't want to confuse anyone. So, um, you know, messages, comments are always welcome, good or bad, and I'll try to fix them. Okay, so hope hope you like that one, and, and thanks for watching my videos.